Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our chest and tricep muscles starting off with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side to ensure our body is ready for the exercises and the weight lifting. If you prefer or you like any other dynamic stretching, please go ahead and do that but ensure you get at least 2 to 5 minutes of dynamic stretching which can include this particular stretch or if you prefer to do something else other than this and it's absolutely fine you also need to ensure that you have at least one deep squat variation of a stretch so that you go through a deep squat at least once in a day without fail good for our hips and also lower body mobility now you may also want to do cardio that's absolutely up to you but i only recommend max to max 5 minutes of cardio on your preferred equipment now after completing the greatest stretch i always practice my deep squat just simply push your glutes far behind once your hamstrings are completely stretched you slowly bend your knees and sit in a deep squat and sit there for few seconds at least as you can see i also tend to push my legs further out with my elbows to create an extra stretch now to start with our first exercise we are going to start with flat bench press i have done three sets of these 20 repetitions in extremely controlled repetition manner so i have taken good amount of time at the lower bottom and then even the coming down portion of the exercise i have taken it slightly longer than the pushing up bit of it so the descent was longer than the ascent now you may prefer to do a couple of warm-up sets and that's absolutely fine i have done one warm-up set i haven't recorded it i've done it with a five kilo dumbbell just to go through the movement 20 repetitions and once i felt good i started off with my working sets i've taken 60 seconds break in between this exercise will be taxing because as you start accumulating the reps you will get pretty tired out make sure you stretch as much as possible as you go down and as you can see in the video my elbows never come beside my shoulders i don't flare out my elbows they stay closer to my body and i also don't bend my elbows much so that my tricep doesn't involve much in the push my complete focus is creating adduction through my chest muscles after completing those i moved on to incline bench press wherein i have done three sets again but this time as many repetitions as possible in every set similar weight 60 seconds of rest as you can see again my focus was to get a good deep stretch and then push back up with all my strength while coming down slow down the range slow down the speed of the motion and also avoid as much as possible the bend in the elbow so that my triceps don't get extremely active in the pushing motion now make sure you push your chest up your shoulders are shrugged down to get more chest involvement than your friend delts in the adduction here is a better view so you can see how my elbows stay closer to my body and my chest is always in front than my shoulders after completing my chest press i moved on to my tricep exercise started off with the regular the barbell tricep extensions on an inclined bench wherein i did three sets again 15 repetitions plus pause repetitions wherein i accumulated another 20 repetitions in five rep intervals now that's one of the reason why i don't go extremely heavy because it's a high repetition exercise if you go heavy you might not be able to achieve your repetition so always keep that in mind now while doing this particular exercise make sure you take your arms as far behind as possible create that stretch from your tricep to your lat as you can see in the video and from there you want to throw the barbell up high without coming in front of your eyes you can do this particular exercise in front of a mirror to get better control because then you can watch the barbell moving up and down but otherwise you don't want to see the barbell the barbell should always remain behind your head to get maximum amount of contractions once you are done with 15 repetitions you take a small break and go back to your five repetition intervals so that's how we complete this particular exercise break yes 45 seconds to 60 seconds as needed by you 
after completing those we move back to another chest exercise here i am doing machine flies the reason why i am doing these is because one they are effective second thing when cable crossover machine is not available this is the second best ex uh, equipment to do your flies very much control i have in my previous video i have done it in a different manner wherein i was sitting up a little bit slightly bent and trying to hit my lower chest bit this time i'm just sitting normal just a bit forward that's it as you can see there's a gap in between the seat rest and my back but otherwise seated normal normal settings focusing on the adduction i was smiling because i was getting amazing amount of contractions and i was really feeling good with the way i was able to connect with my chest muscles it's really a challenging part to make sure your chest is doing the majority amount of work in all the exercises because often times your shoulder muscles kick in so when you have a connection you really enjoy it three sets 20 repetitions with 45 to 60 seconds break in between should be sufficient make sure your repetitions are in absolute control you don't want to just flap around you want to control the weight moving back and moving in front of you once done with machine flies i moved on to the cable crossover machine the, it got free so i've done a super set easier quick with cable tricep extension and push down so started off with the french press cable behind my back at hip level and from there 20 repetitions pushing the cable high up as possible getting the maximum amount of tricep activation or sorry to use the word activation but it's basically tricep contractions so you want to push as high up as possible as much extension as possible in your elbows to get maximum contractions in your tricep in a stretch position and now we train the shorter at the shorter head so basically you want the cable to be just there where your elbows get perpendicular that's enough you don't want to go all the way up it's unnecessary and from there you push down and try to get maximum amount of contraction get your elbows as straight as possible i always try to keep the cable path as straight as possible i don't like the cable traveling towards me or in a slant manner so as you can see i try to keep cable path as straight as possible slight bend is okay but yeah i try to keep it as straight as possible and that's it we are done with our chest and tricep training we are going to finish off finish off with a simple stretch wherein we take a pvc pipe take it as far behind as possible while holding with both our arms creating a good amount of stretch in our chest and our tricep muscles stay there for 15 to 20 seconds do it a couple of times feel the blood rushing in the muscle getting stretched great way to finish off exercise is by static stretching thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe if you do have any feedback please do drop in comments if you have any exercises which you want me to try and see how it works or explain it please do drop in comments and i will try to incorporate that in my next bit of videos once again thank you so much for joining me i hope you like the content i will see you in the next video have a good day